And for the next upcoming section, Ashley can finally do it. She's going to redeem herself, but first we gotta do like a relationship challenge. There are levers on both sides of the door. It's locked. Uh, so we need one on each side. Wait! You go here, I'll go here. <laughs> Nailed it. You know what's funny? I think it would be more likely that Ashley would fail it than it would be for Leon to fail it. Alright, here we go. Oh, that's what I needed more shotgun ammo. Actually, you know what? I will take that. Why do you need such a big box for su such a tiny first aid spray? I don't understand. Alright, get on. Leave it to me, Leon. So for some reason, Ashley just knows how to do this. How old are you? You're like 17. You're not even legal enough to do this as a side job. Whatever. So this is very similar to the minecart section. A lot of dudes are gonna pour out. And ideally you want to be able to get them off your back before they jump down on your little uh little bulldozer. Yes, Ashley, I'm getting on it. So ideally you want to stay in this corner. And when they die, they uh their loot will fall down so you can actually pick it up. That's only if they get on. If they don't manage to get on in the first place, then you're golden. Pick that up, pick that up. Run, 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 run. I want to wait until the very last minute before you shoot. There we go. Come on. There we go. And you want to do it like this to conserve ammo and make sure that when they die. Oh, right. Wait, what? Oh. There's another truck that tries to ram into you. Just shoot the driver's side, it's fine. The section can be pretty boring. Oh no! <laughs> the truck driver got a second win! <laughs> Somehow. Real easy, just blow this shit up. <laughs> because apparently trucks can do that. Not the truck driver, the truck itself. <laughs> Alright, they flipped the circuit breaker, we gotta go up there and fix that. Oh, this part can be challenging. So what happens is you jump down. Do Thank you, Ashley. So you jump down, get out of the car. And people would jump onto the uh the truck. And Ashley just really likes to stay in that seat. She will not move at all to defend herself. So you really gotta watch it. Alright, looks like they're not coming on yet though. Oh, behind me! Yep, out of here. Goodbye. Uh, stop. You are not allowed up this ladder. This is my ladder. Mm. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh my goodness, Ashley. Just get out of the truck and run away. That's all you gotta do. Oh hey, what's up, dudes? Don't mind me. I'm just gonna flip the switch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I hear you, Ashley. Uh, do be careful. They're surprisingly quick once I got in the back of that uh back of that bulldozer. Oh, and don't shoot Ashley. Bad idea. Don't need me to tell you that, though. Alright, so for this part, you actually want to be facing forward instead of backwards now, so you can shoot them. Bye!
And if you do that, you don't get the loot. But I just like killing them, so I do it. I was trying to get two for there, but I missed. And it's really distinctive when they're behind you, so you don't have to worry about it too much. I actually just did something cool, but I didn't get to see it, unfortunately. See ya. No Plaga, thank you. So what Ashley's doing is right now she's using the bulldozer. Ashley, it's not even there yet. Oh no, the truck is back! Oh no! I know, I know it's a different truck. Good job, Ashley. You did something useful. You operated a bulldozer. Which is uh, more than I could ever do, that's for sure. Unfortunately, I did not get every single loot drop. There was still some left over on the truck. This thing's totaled. It ain't gonna run no more. Leon's so angry, he just kicks the door open. Incendiary, don't mind if I do. Ah, shit, I haven't been checking my treasure map. I might have missed something. But, uh, I won't worry about it too much. I pretty much got every single upgrade that I need. Stone of Judgment. Welcome. Got a selection of what are you buying? I'm just gonna upgrade the broken butterfly because <laughs> I haven't been using you. it. What I'm not gonna do the uh, the optimization thing. I uh, don't feel like doing it anymore. Come. Let's see. Moment of truth. Did I miss a treasure? What? Oh, I, I can't tell. Alright, whatever. We are nearing the end of the game, I believe. Just a few more parts and I can finally move on to Resident Evil 2 in time. Ooh. I can feel them growing ever so strongly inside you. You, you talking about my dick? Sadler! <laughs> Perhaps you can resist, but you cannot disobey. Now, come to me, Ashley. Oh no! Ashley's evil, what do we do? Shoot him, Leon. Shoot her, Leon. It's your only hope. Ah, yes, the good old C4 on the scar if you're gonna blow her to kingdom come, right? Also, that's actually really clever of Leon. Also, how did Sadler not see that? He literally threw it right in front of her, and it makes a beeping noise. Alright. Sure, why not? I will save again. This game likes to do that, they throw a save point after a save point. I understand why though, it's just the uh, mandatory that at the end of the cutscene you do it. And with that, we are finally free from Ashley. We no longer have to protect her anymore. Our plan. Oh, I like that shot of Mendez. <laughs> just in case you forget who that was. Because of that agent, we lost Mendez and Ramon. Nevertheless, everything will proceed. Replacing that loss will not come easy. I must choose wisely, for the Plaga reflects the conscience of their host. If chosen poorly, they could betray me. I need men who will swear their allegiance to me. I've learned my lesson when Sarah betrayed me. I will not make the same mistake again. In this abhorrent hour, I cannot and will not have anyone stand in my way. So that kind of begs the question, what kind of mutant would Sarah be? Would he be a cool one, or would he be a lame one? Hmm. Who knows? Is there a treasure in here? No. Got it. Oh look, biz biz biz. Who could be beyond this door? Oh, well, cutscene first, I suppose. What's the news on our friend, Leon? 
He's not making it easy. The sample? Sadler's got it. It seems he sniffed out our little game. <gasps> Perfect. <laughs> Just so we understand each other clearly, I don't trust you, nor does Wesker. If you try to do anything clever, I will kill you. Is that so? You know, I met Wesker long before you. We'll see soon enough if you did. Ooh. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> oh, I've never played the other Resident Evils. I know, I know, Faker is an evil fan. I have no idea if Krauser ever appears in anything other than this game. I'm pretty sure he doesn't, though. The reason why I'm breaking all these is because I know one of them has an emerald hidden inside. Alright, let's go pick up that damn thing, that Chaos Emerald. Just Chaos Control the Plaga out of Leon. That would solve all the problems pretty quickly. I thought you heard that motorcycle. Whoa, hey, too close for comfort. Just for that, you get shot in the head while you're down. Ooh, you got a tough head. I'm out of pistol ammo again, aren't I? No problem. Hey, look at that. I actually beat a crossbow without him firing at me. Jesus, you are tough. Must be that barbed wire on your head, giving you all that, uh, special adaptivity. Uh, there we go. Have you ever heard of the theory that you can build immunity to bullets by shooting yourself with smaller calibers? I don't know why I did that, I was too busy telling this dumb bullet story. I suppose that's the logic behind the barbed wire. You immune. Fucking hell. You immunize yourself to pain via barbed wire. So when someone shoots you in the head later, you can take it. But the human body still has limits. Someone is still alive, really? There we go. But you can't immunize yourself against the suplex. Uh, I suppose you could. It would take quite a while, though. I can take maybe one or two more hits before having to do another full heal. I'll have to keep that in mind. Uh, what is this? A folding chair? I can take the folding chair? No, a flash grenade. Welcome to my RE4 LP where I make stupid jokes. Did you guys know that the folding chair is one of the seven weapons of destiny? It's true. Don't underestimate a man with a folding chair. Um, yeah, over here. <gasps> this already? Really? All right, let's go. Uh, so this cutscene, very infamous, flash famous. I personally hate it. Guy's on for a little too long. I'll just shut up. Oh no! It's always gonna be XC and left mouse, right mouse for these, but even then, it still catches Long me off guard. Time, comrade. Comrade? Krauser. I died in the crash two years ago. Is that what they told you? You're the one who kidnapped So take Ashley. note. Krauser has you three grenades on his belt. As expected. If Leon really wanted After to, all, he could just shoot the grenades out. From. Ooh, nice try. What do you want? <laughs> the sample Sadler developed, that's all. <laughs> Leave Ashley out of this! Oh, I need oh, I'm not 100% sure. Trust me. But I believe on harder difficulties, you have much less reaction time to get through this. Not 100% sure on that, but it certainly felt like it. Cool backflips. You got her involved just for that? Ooh. 
Ooh, one for one now. <laughs> Here we go. This one's oh, difficult. For umbrella's sake. Umbrella? umbrella? Almost let it slip. Enough talk. Die, comrade. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. So that QT is the trickiest of the bunch because it starts you off at a certain key oh, that you have to swap quickly. If you're not paying attention, you're like mashing the wrong the key hand. the whole way. <laughs> Glad I got through that. Every time I replay this game, I always mess that cutscene up at least once. You may be able to prolong your life, but it's not like you, you can, can escape, escape your, your inevitable, inevitable death, death, is it? <laughs> that line is so lame. <laughs> Anyone who thinks that line is cool? You no, you're wrong. <laughs> More or less. Maybe it's about time you told me the reason why you're here. Maybe some other time. Look, everyone's so cool, they're just leaving Leon alone. Bye. <laughs> Enjoy the reunion with your old friend. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I did. Wonderful. The Sadler is my special surprisingly guest handsome with his hood unattended. off. Guess I'm supposed Am I to the only one that right? feels that way? <laughs> Am I weird? <laughs> I have an idea. Since you're here, why don't I introduce you to it? It should keep you busy. Can't remember the name, huh? A senior moment, perhaps. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, enjoy the fun. I don't know what happened to the subtitles there. That was weird. But yeah, now we get to fight it. Uh, don't confuse that with the thing. And don't confuse that with it from Goosebumps. And don't confuse that with it from... Uh, well, the movie It. A lot of it's and things and... That and those from media. Very common horror name. Here we got a laser hallway. I've never screwed this up. Hopefully I don't screw up now. It's very easy, just walk forward when the path is clear. But don't rush too fast. You wanna go through now 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 we go. Here's a QTE! Cause Leon somehow knows to dodge like that. Here's another one. Somehow Leon just knows the timing. Here again, Leon just knows. He's got that sixth sense going for him. And one more bit of magic. It's locked. There's a switch on the right. Operate. So again, Leon somehow just knows that he can do this. And he'll be fine. That was stupid. I've heard that this hallway is, direct, is a direct reference to the Resident Evil movie. I've never seen it, but I can imagine something stupid like that happens. There we go. I knew there was a treasure up there. So like, what is the purpose of that hallway? Who is supposed to live through that? Sadler's supposed to be able to do all that? I can't imagine that. Mmm, looking good, Leon. There's no time for resting. But Leon, it's so comfy. Uh, so doing that puts you in position to look at the treasure up there, just in case you miss it on the first time through. Alright, let's get down. Oh, we're already fighting it? Okay then, that's fine too. I'm down for another boss, it's time to use this revolver ammo. I'm hoarding. Oh shit, I upgraded the capacity on it. Because I felt like we weren't going to fight a boss soon. I forget about it. He's not very memorable, even though he's quite memorable. He's not very memorable, even though he's quite memorable. Can I English? I guess not. Alright. Lewis's memo. So the plugs have three distinct characteristics. As mentioned, they have the ability to manipulate their hosts. They are social organisms, like ants. Yeah, 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 I just said that. And the Plagas have adapta adaptation skills. They live off many kinds of organisms by creating a symbiotic network. I am ashamed to admit that my pure fascination with the Plagas has blinded me to the true research of the Los Illuminados. Hey, Salazar. I mean, not Salazar. Hey, Louis. That's cool. I like Plagas, too. They're real interesting. Even with the knowledge that Salazar was going to abuse the results of these experiments, I could not pull myself away from my research. 
As a result, I am just as responsible for this whole thing as he is. I see now that I was wrong, but maybe I can stop their evil plan. Salazar, you're such a good kid. Don't ever change. Welcome. Did I just say Salazar? I meant to say Lewis. Got some Sorry. rare things on. What are you buying? Is yes. It... <laughs> Upgrade that fire Thank power. You. Got the shotgun. Mm, I want to upgrade to exclusive. I'll do that Come at the very end. Any time. Save. All right. So I think after this boss, I'll call it quits for this recording. <sighs> Alright. I really don't remember what its whole deal is. Because out of all the bosses, he's sort of the most lost over, I feel. He's not a human, like all the other bosses that we fought. He's just like a monster thing, if I remember correctly. Alright, oh, the first half isn't even a proper fight, it's a gimmick. I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna go ahead and give him full respect and say this first part's a proper fight. I said the Laga was a gimmick fight and I got my ass handed to me. So, uh, you know, no more disrespecting the RE4 bosses. Oh no, you did not get to set the C4 on Ashley. You Ashley. couldn't do the stage recovery. Whoopsie. What is that? Oh lord, he coming. There he is, the Chonk Master. Kind of reminds me of a centaur from uh, All Out. Hey buddy, how's it going? So uh, fighting him directly is a big no-no. What you want to do is you want to run, run, run the fuck out of here. I'm out of that, uh, fuck me. Run. Okay, thank you. So this is kind of dumb. What you have to do is you have to shoot these, uh... Oh shit. Hey, what's up? Don't use that. Save that for Ashley. Do you want to run? And you have to shoot these lights out. Because for some reason they're not simple buttons. They are lights. As long as you keep running though, it's really hard for the... For it to stick onto you. I almost called him a centaur. But yeah. Uh, I believe it has a more proper name. Get off me. There we go. I'm not sure why you would ever design a mine shaft or whatever this is. A oil platform, I suppose, to be this way. But whatever. It makes for a really tense and cool boss fight. Oh, there he is again. I'm just gonna run past the uh, would want to be uh. <clears throat> As always, generous use of QTEs allows you to avoid most boss damage. Back in one, this be another one. Bye 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 bye. Like seriously, who thought that shooting out the lights was how you should operate these? Oh, Jesus. Alright, good mix up. You got me it. Good mix up. Alright, fuck that ammo. I... Of course it would be too easy if it fell with one of the uh with one of the what are these called? I actually have no idea. Operate. Well that opens up the middle bit. And here's it. Oh hey, you've got a new toy. Awesome. Well, I'm just gonna run. See ya. As you can see, it has a hard time following you in tight corners. Oh, whoa, whoa, hey. I'm stuck in the corner, though. Or not. Ha ha ha! Good thing you have a wide turn radius. You're stupid like that. Dude, that sounds really bad when the uh, audio goes to shit. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. I don't know why it's doing that. Ooh, almost got me. Very similar to uh, Verdugo fight. 
where he likes to attack from the ceiling and you need to do a QT to dodge. <sighs> Convenient hook, thank you. See ya, wouldn't want to be ya. And they give us a lot of ammo because, hey, that's a good way to signal that the boss fight's not over yet. Okay then, what do I want to do here? Uh, before I continue, let me just take this quick phone call. You thought it was over? Of course it isn't. Alright, so for this boss, you actually don't want to use a TMP, you want to get your Broken Butterfly out. And the reason for that is because every shot with this bad boy staggers him. TMP doesn't really do that. And because it staggers him, you can just get him in this constant loop where he can't really do anything. In a way, I'm actually really glad I upgraded the capacity. You get to stagger him for so much longer. Ow, I missed. Bad, bad, bad. Reload, reload, reload. Leon, like with every other gun, doesn't need to load every single shell. Yeah, no, stop that. So we've actually kind of killed his uh, lower half, now we gotta go for the upper half. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna switch to TMP really quick. I just wanna see if this actually stuns them or not. I shouldn't have done that. So, for his second phase, he digs under the ground. What you gotta do is you gotta run around and be careful. It's the same QTE as against the uh, Verdugo fight. Run around. Thank you. Ooh, hey! Got my leg. Three times? Got it. So three times or until he hits you. Use that full heal. Uh, there's a barrel that I can shoot, but I have the revolver out. Shooting is going to be a loss of DPS if you ask me. Follow up? Nope. Just like Verdugo, he can do a follow up attack. Get your hands ready. Oh, damn it. There we go. That took me, what, 20... six shots with the revolver? Yeah. Around 26 or so. Good thing I was hoarding all that ammo. And as always, I will not reload the broken butterfly. If you do run out of ammunition, there's some barrels in here that you can use to help. These gates also help a little bit, but not really. What you can do is you can lock it out from fighting you, and then for a few moments you have some brevity. Brevity? That's not the right word. You have some breathing room, and you can shoot it freely until he gets smart and decides to burrow under, which is why I don't need to use that. I have the revolver. Just unlock him. Very easy. <sighs> All right. I remember um, when you're in the maze-like area earlier with the falling uh, platforms, it's much harder because, and when I say it, I refer to the boss, it is much harder to fight because you don't actually fight him, you have to like run away from him, and I had difficulty understanding that my first time through, and you got lost in the maze. It was actually more frustrating than scary if anything. So mad I'm gonna kick this door open. Anyway, yeah, we're done with the creepy parts of Resident Evil. Now it's just back to full blown action. Goodbye, everyone. That's what you get for standing next to red barrels. Like, why would you put red barrels next to where you sleep? Some, some. That's just asking for disaster, you know. Especially if you know the hero or quote unquote hero is around to blow them up. Let's get inside this tent. 
thousand. Alright. More yellow herbs. So pointless to make yellow herbs out of uh, red herbs now because I'm already at max health. Just do green and reds. Check. I can see a door in the distance. I need to find a way up there. Hmm. Is this not the way forward? Interesting. Where do I go then? Uh, I feel like I missed something over here. Oh. <laughs> Hell yeah, I did. I missed this giant hole in the ground somehow. Um, I guess I just walk forward then. The Blue Stone of Treason. You know, you could just call it a turquoise thing. You don't have to go all out with the naming convention. It's just a blue rock. Seriously. How fancy does it need to be? I haven't seen a snake in a while, I almost got scared for a moment. And gun ammo, don't mind if I do. Browser's note. Turns out that old sad Sadler wasn't buying me from the start. Even though I kidnapped Ashley, I kind of sensed this when Sadler didn't completely let me in the loop. Under the circumstances, I had no other alternative but to call for her assistance. Maybe she knew all along it was going to be like this. My guess is that her ultimate goal might be different from Wesker's and mine. This is the perfect opportunity to find out. After I get rid of that pesky Leon, I'll put her in a body bag and send them both to Wesker. Krauser is not a nice guy if you couldn't tell. Welcome. Got some rare. What are you buying? Broken. Exclusive. Increases the firepower beyond. Not enough cash, stranger. Okay, well I can fix what that. What are you selling? And I will sell you. Thank you. What are you buying? Is that a <laughs> Thank you. I almost have enough for exclusive shotgun. And this will actually be interesting. I have an exclusive version of every single one of my guns I'm using. What are you selling? Cool. I didn't think I would be able to get to do that this playthrough. Come back anytime. Oh hey, shooting range is right there. I can do it. Well, I'll do that off screen.